Ooh, you've been treated to another flower bed number. What do you think? Jukes aside, I love it. How good, how good is this? No? Everybody? Yeah? Comment. Flowers for the win. Can we just pretend that those cables aren't there for a second? You're going to make me move them, aren't you? I thought we were friends. It is quite expensive equipment, so I've got to be, like, pretty careful, not just kick it, you know? Get the f Now, with today's club, this is the best way I thought that you guys could feel involved in the video. Whoa. Because I really needed to make myself look wider than what I already am. This is, this is back to normal mode, by the way. Yeah, we're, we are back to normal. We're not still stretched. Thanks. Because we're here with the new Stealth HD irons. And they're rather unusual. Now we can joke about these irons all day. Oh, trust me, I can. Where's the other half of it? Is that HD for half done? It's funny it's called stealth because half of the iron is actually stealthing. But jokes aside, if it didn't look like it'd been sat on by the great Carly, it would look very attractive. In fact, there's something about it that still is very attractive. Oh. You, you thought these irons were gonna suck, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> If you think anything from the big brands, any product at all is going to suck, you're wrong. It may not be the best for you, that's fine. But no product at all is going to suck. So I looked at this and thought to myself, what the f is that? Don't like the look of it. Not for me. But I know, love TaylorMade, love what they do, that this is something very special. And I was not wrong. Never am, actually. Don't do much wrong. So like the opening shot, you would have seen, uh, I think it was about one, it was a high 190s. I hit the 7 iron, I've still got the 7 iron here. Nice to see it's not going like 220, 230 yards. I gave it a good hit, it went straight up into space. So if you think this is all brute and no finesse, you're very wrong. Now these irons are far from my partner in crime. Beats, eh? All right then, I see you. High launch, don't want. Draw bias, don't want. Lower scores, don't. Yeah. Oh, please. They don't work, do they? And you look at this number and literally everyone's running around like. But yes, yeah, spin police are aware of what's going off. But the peak height's like, don't you worry, pop it. So it's a pleasure to hit. Especially when you hit it out of the center. And that is my center. <laughs> That's where my face is. Look at that side profile there. This is so sharp. It should have handle with care. Really. You could lose a limb. Like if you, I'm not even joking. If someone swings back and crack your underwear mate in the shin, we're gonna have limbs flying everywhere. Now I know what HD stands for. Head dismemberment. Where did Steve go? I, I swear there was four of you. Yeah, Steve's lying on three, Paul's on four. Um, bit of a mess actually. So we're just a two ball. That's better. It looks and performs very different, I think. You look at this and you think, well, yeah, it's great. It's going to go, like I say, 220, 230. But it, it has feel. It has spin. It has launch. And it's not, it's, it's playing like a golf iron more than a hybrid, <laughs> which it looks more like a hybrid than it does a golf iron. Are you still with me? I hope so. Do it. Oh, this has got a real chance it rolls out. Will you stop this? You see everything. You've seen what this iron's had for dinner at a dress. You see a face, a thick top line, and a lot of 
There's no hiding that. It's, it's clearly not been designed to hide it. It's, it's borderline hybrid-like with how it's been designed. And funnily enough, from the spec sheet, it's coming at the lowest iron is a five iron. So that's making me think that we've got the hybrids to do the donkey work in the longer stuff and the five iron starts to filter down. So that kind of explains straight away who these irons are targeting. Someone that potentially struggles with launch, struggles with distance, needs higher launch, but the irons that start at five because the four and the threes can be a little bit too difficult to get in the air. Man, I'm good at this. 10 years on YouTube. Let's talk top line. She's thick. Offset, she's present. I definitely feel that draw bias to a point where I just feel like I can hit it right. And it's going to do the work for me. You, you always think I am a drawer, I'm a hooker. So you'd associate straight away, let's go, or oh, open the face up, let's get this going right. But why, when you can potentially play to your strengths, you know, if you do draw the ball, what's wrong with a draw driver? What's, what's wrong with a draw bias iron? If anything, like I say, you can work to your strength, hit it just right. And you know, it's coming back. That was a terrible strike, FYI, but all right. So the key elements about these irons are improved distance and improved forgiveness. Trying to make the game a little bit easier. Key word there, easier. Not easy, no. And like I say, the visuals that address won't be for everybody, but that mass that you see sat behind the ball is gonna be very comforting. I like that. See, my, strike, my good strikes at the moment, I'm getting that shape purely because of my position my face position impact. It's closed because I've changed my delivery. Now before, I'd be here. I won't get the same uh, angle of attack into the ball. I won't get the same compression. So the strike feels great here, but my club face is closed. We're not having a lesson, are we, knowing that? See, I pushed that what felt like so far right. That is still drawing for me. This has got an echo. Getting good at editing. Well done now. Well done editing now for that one. An echo dampening system, which is fully enclosed inside this cap back design we have here, this unusual rear. And this from heel to toe absorbs all those horrible, unwanted, you know, 3 a.m. 3 a.m.? Why would you play playing golf at 3 a.m.? <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you want to do, pop it. Early morning, freezing cold, tee shots at your thin. You don't want that, do you? So this is the, we've got the comforting vibrations, but that also helps in acoustics. So we've got a lovely feel and a really nice sound for an iron that, uh, what does it usually associate with nice sound? But it's multi-purpose because it also adds to a bit of face flex as well. So we've got the, uh, the ball speed, the oomph that we, that we require. <laughs> 10 years. Oh, jeez. So, laughs. <laughs> it's not that bad actually. We've seen, we've seen, I think we've seen 26s, have we? We've definitely seen 28 degree 7 irons. This is 30. Yeah, so, on a, I don't believe I'm saying this, but I am. It says in the middle of modern distance iron lofts. But the whole idea again is waiting where this is positioned, and you can see again with the peak heights that we've had, it's all in the air. Again, I'm late with this review. You've probably seen a lot of tech on it. I'm not gonna bore you with all the tech. There is a lot happening. You can see, look, it's everywhere on the iron. But all you need to know, <laughs> don't bury yourself in technology. Just if you need any of the following, distance forgiveness, um, limiting slice, work with your draw, but you wanna get the ball in the air. All you gotta do is go and test it. Don't buy it, test it, see if it works. And uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team L, please hit the subscribe button and the notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I am live streaming on Twitch. Now, if we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm never going to say hit the subscribe button ever again. So maybe that's an incentive to get us there a bit faster. Huh?